Well, this is a slight uh, interim extra. Uh, if you've seen my Tilpost project where I started trying to machine some solid and then sort of gave up because of slow removal of material and then switching to uh, a new quick change tool post. I've just come back to this one just for the hell of it. Uh, what we've got is uh, a block mounted in a vertical slide. It's very hard to get things really rigid. But what we're doing now trying to cut further back on here you might just see the depth of cut so far and that scribe line is what I'm heading for. Well, that's going to be done on four sides on this chunk and four sides on the other chunk. Uh, so it's a lot of work. Anyway, this time I decided to try, which I hadn't tried before, was to set up a small fly cutter. And uh, that in essence is what we're doing here. I've just taken a light cut to get it set up. Uh, you do hear a slight knock as the tool tip touches the, uh, shall we say, the top shelf, but it produces quite a good flat cut. I'm just going to change the angle slightly here. the end of that cut. I've got a pretty generous uh, feed on it. Let's just clean that up a little bit. The lathe has been cleaned up a bit since uh, some recent projects. But now I'm getting chips everywhere again. Let's see if we can go in any tighter. Might get a better angle. I'm only adding this video in because I'm determined to finish this somehow, but I just had to try the uh, fly cutter. So you can see the surface there. It's not too bad. I'm not worried about the actual finish, uh, providing I can get material removed. And uh, we're getting a bit further in, but the scribe line's still an awful long way off. I'm going to try a slightly heavier cut and see what we can get away with. Just starting a, <coughs> a deeper cut, it's only 10 thou. Mainly seeing what I can get away with. Now we've got the slight knock again because of the uh, top of the cut. I probably could increase the feed a little bit more, but it's fairly generous. And I could also increase revolutions a bit more. It's a question of what I can get away with. Getting a bit nearer the end. Focus tends to drop in and out. Constant problem sometimes. clean that up in a minute and uh, have a closer look. Well the finish isn't too bad and the finish isn't actually very important if the truth be known uh, but there's still a lot of material to get rid of. Just going to try either a deeper cut and or increase my feed and speed. This is all a bit experimental. Well, that's taking 20, same revolution, same feed rate. 
don't think we can go a lot higher than that. Uh, a lot of material still to remove, but a 20 thou pass takes a while, but I can get on and do something whilst it's doing it, so we may well proceed this way or not. Well, a fairly typical fly cutter pattern. I say finish isn't too important, just want to get a fair face, but um, still a long way to go. One of the problems is, apart from the fact this is a very old lathe, it's about a 60 year old lathe. Uh, we got the compound, we got the vertical slide, although everything's locked down, it is not as rigid as one would expect, which is why this is really a milling job. And it may yet get milled out, but I thought I'd just try this, just as an adjunct to the other effort. I still haven't really got a solution. But we'll persevere, possibly. And if we make more progress, we'll probably come back and do a little bit of video on it.